A very large storm system is brewing across the west that's set to bring a lot of severe weather for areas here of the south. There is a pretty good probability that we might actually be seeing a severe weather outbreak here for Thursday into Friday, as the Storm Prediction Center has issued a very large enhanced risk here, a severe threat level 3 out of 5, across areas of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Those are the regions where we are expecting a numerous amount of severe weather being likely. Now, there is something that's a little bit concerning about the risk that they issued here for Thursday, and that's the fact that they actually did put a significant risk out there. That basically means that very strong severe thunderstorms is likely and will likely occur. Now, tornadoes and damaging winds, I believe, is going to be the biggest concern. And the reason I believe this is because due to the amount of very strong winds across the lower to mid portions of the atmosphere. Now, these winds will be aligning correctly to allow for rotation to occur in any thunderstorm that tries to develop what we call supercells. Now, across the lower portions of the atmosphere, we do have some very strong winds ushing up here from the north. Now, across the mid levels, kind of around the same line that the jet liners typically fly around 30,000 feet or so, we are seeing these winds dramatically shift their way up here to the northeast. Basically, that wind direction and wind speed change, the higher you go up, the more stronger it gets, allows for the rotation to kick off with any thunderstorm that really tries to develop. Now, honestly, I believe that large hail cannot be ruled out either. Now, today, we actually do have ourselves a severe weather risk as well. This being across portions of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and portions of northern Georgia. We do have ourselves a chance for tornadoes, a 5% chance maximum every 25 miles. So there's a 5% chance of a tornado falling in that boundary. And we actually have ourselves a significant hail threat across areas of Arkansas, across that black dashed line, basically meaning that we are seeing the possibility of some of those hailstones potentially getting two inches in diameter or larger. Hey, guys, it's Andrew here in the future while actually editing this video. We do do have ourselves now a moderate risk here for severe weather across areas here of northeastern Texas, portions here of southwestern Arkansas and northwestern Louisiana. Things are looking pretty nasty as we are seeing yet again another potential outbreak here on the line. Now, once again, this is going to be here for Thursday, being tomorrow at this point, since today is now Wednesday. We have our severe weather threat for today we just talked about, and tomorrow is the big day. The Storm Prediction Center has actually issued a 15% chance of significant tornadoes, meaning the big possibility there are some damaging tornadoes across northeastern Texas, southeastern Oklahoma, throughout areas of central and southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, and basically north central and northwestern areas of Mississippi. Now, they put the overall damaging wind probability at a 45% significant risk, meaning that there is a chance of maybe some of those damaging wind gusts perhaps being over 80 miles an hour in terms of wind gusts. And they even put a bigger hail risk out there, a 30% significant chance there. So literally, there is a significant chance of tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds out of this event here. So things are definitely looking a little bit interesting for Thursday. Today's severe weather risk has actually been extended a little bit up into the north for areas of southern Ohio. Tornadoes still the same percent for the most part. However, damaging winds has been extended into areas here of southern Ohio through Kentucky. And the hail probability has also been extended to the southwest, basically for areas of northeastern Texas, looking at the possibility possibility for those large hailers. All right, so I know what you might be asking, and that's, well, why are we having so much severe weather here recently? There is a very strong high pressure system that is located across areas of the eastern central Pacific that is basically creating the jet stream to kink and shift all of that air up to the north, eventually pulling it back down into the country basically creating all of these events that we've been seeing for the last week or so. Now, you guys are going to want to stay tuned because we are going to be doing some live coverage on these events here. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and sharing this with your friends and family. Like I said, obviously, early word is the best key. And for the people who do not have televisions out there, well, this is some very information, very, very crucial information for you guys. So please consider hitting that subscribe button. Like I said, we will be live here on Thursday in order to give you guys the coverage that is much, much needed. Okay, so now I want to move you guys over here to the winter weather side of things. We are expecting a winter side out of the system to possibly kick up some snow across the central plains, Midwest, no, upper Ohio Valley, and northeastern regions. Now, according to the American GFS, some areas here potentially could see over a foot across southeastern Michigan, perhaps into areas deep in the northeast here. But overall, I mean, a decent amount of accumulations does look possible. Now, in comparing this here with the European model, pretty much the same thing is expected, although those totals are kind of pulling away from the northern Ohio Valley for areas of northern Ohio and northern Indiana. Now, honestly, if we're going to trust any of these, we should probably trust the National Weather Service blend of models as this takes multiple opinions here, kind of mashes them together. We do have ourselves about 6 to 10 inches expected across areas of eastern Iowa and southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, cutting through areas of northeastern Michigan. And really deep into the northeast, we are expecting 8 to 10 inches with locally amounts possibly up to 12. Moving on over here to the northern plains region, we currently are seeing a little clipper system drive its way through the region, bringing those snow totals maybe up to 8 to 10 inches as well. Now, there is actually a threat for ice as well across areas here of the northeast, talking areas of Pennsylvania moving up into New York State. Some of those deep northeastern states could also see this as well. There is a maximum threat of around 0.3 inches or 3 tenths of an inch looking possible 
possible here on the ice scale. That is definitely still enough to cause a numerous amount of problems. So something you do need to watch out for. Alrighty guys, so well that's going to go ahead and wrap up the update. And hey, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me guys. And like I said, it keeps everyone safe. Alright guys, thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you here in the next one later on tonight. Peace out my friends. See you then.